Now we are going to solve 6.4, which we are told that given that this expression here, x plus 1 over x is equal to 3 cos of a, sorry. And then this expression here is equal to 2. So you need to determine the value of cos of 2a without the use of a calculator. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write your expression. So it's x plus 1 over x is equal to 3 cos of a. Then you, 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 you manipulate. So it's going to be all squared here. Why are we putting all squared? Because here the second expression has squared. So we might just need to do that. So here we're going to have x plus 1 over x x plus 1 over x which is the expansion of this one here equals to 9 because the 3 to the power of 2 is 9 cos squared a then if you do your multiplication x multiplied by x it's going to be x squared plus x multiplied by 1 over x it's going to be x multiplied by 1 over x plus the same goes here x multiplied by 1 over x or 1 over x multiplied by x plus then we have 1 over x multiplied by 1 over x which is 1 over x squared it's equals to 9 cos squared a so here we're just going to write x squared plus and then here it's x multiplied by 1 over x or x multiplied by then 1 is going to remain it's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 over x squared equals to 9 cos squared a. Then you add everything up. So this 2 will add up. Then you're going to have x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared equals to 9 cos squared a. So now, if you take a look, this portion here and this portion here are the same as this portion here, right? So we're just going to put them together and equate to 2 because this x squared plus 1 over x squared is actually equal to 2. So we'll equate it to 2. So meaning that this portion here is actually equal to 2. So we're going to put 2 instead of it. 2 plus 2 is equal to 9 cos squared a. And then it's going to be 4 is equal to 9 cos squared a. And then you divide by 9, you're going to have cos squared a is equal to 4 over 9, right? But you're still not done, so you need to remember that now you have cos squared a is equal to 4 over 9. But if you write a double angle, cos 2a is actually 2 cos squared a minus 1, which in this case, where you see cos squared a, you're going to put this 4 over 9 here. So it's going to be equals to 2, 4 over 9, minus 1. Why are we doing this? Because we are asked to find cos of 2 of a. Now, if you use a calculator here, you're going to get an answer of minus 1 over 9. So that is the solution of this problem here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.